Number 93. Write a symbol for each of the following neutral isotopes. Include the atomic number and mass number for each. And then we have A through D. So I'm going to put A through D over here on the left-hand side. So A, B, C, and D. Okie dokie. All right, so generic, right? This, I think, goes back to chapter one. How do we write a symbol for an element? Well, I'll just label the element as X, right? So it could be oxygen or nitrogen, whatever the symbol is. And remember, the Z number goes on the top and the A number goes on the bottom. The Z is always your mass number and the A is always your atomic number. All right, that's just standard. Usually the mass you'll always see on the top, the atomic number is always on the bottom. And what do these two represent? Remember, the atomic number is always just the number of protons, and the mass number is everything that's inside the nucleus, that's where a majority of the mass is, so it would be the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Okay, so let's go. They say for A, they want the alkali metal, with 11 protons and a mass number of 23. All right, well, what is or where is the alkali metal group? We should know that 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 is group one. However, there's a catch. The alkali metal group starts with lithium and goes all the way down to francium, all right? So this whole group, the one that's in yellow, is the alkali, okay, A-L-I. I'll just put alkali M. Hydrogen is not part of the alkali metals because hydrogen is a non-metal. So it cannot be part of the alkali metals, right? So that's the only trick there. Now remember, you can always categorize an, an element uh, by its atomic number, right? The atomic number for an element will never, 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 never change. Electrons can change and, and neutrons can change, but the protons never, 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 never. How many more nevers can I say? <laughs> they'll never change. So this one has 11 protons. Which alkali metal has 11 protons? Well, it's got to be right here. Here's the 11, and that's sodium. So I'm going to write the symbol. So for A, it's sodium Na, and mass on top, atomic number on the bottom. They told us that there was a mass number of 23, so I can just put a 23 up on the top and the 11 on the bottom. Box that answer off. That's the answer for A. B. They now say that they want the noble gas element with 75 neutrons in its nucleus and 54 electrons in the neutral atom. Where are the noble gases? The noble gases are all the way on the other side. They're on the um, all the way on the right side. So it's group 18. So it's from helium all the way down to radon. Take note that this element, OG, is not part of the noble gases as of 2020. IUPAC, who is like the, you know, the organizers of chemistry, uh, they still need to characterize and categorize this element. Therefore, it's not in any classifications as of right now in 2020. However, in later years, things might change. But as of right now, it is not a noble gas. Okay, so I'll just put that over here. These are your noble gases. They're inert. They don't really react with much and let's see, okay, we need to find out which element it is, right? Is it helium? Is it radon? Is it krypton? It's telling you that it's neutral, and they told you that it's 54 electrons. Now, whenever there's a neutral atom, that means that the number of positives have to equal the number of negatives, right? And if the electrons are negative, the number of electrons should equal the number of protons, because electrons are negative, and the protons are positive, and if they're the same number, they will cancel out, hence they will make a neutral atom. So they're telling us that they have 54 electrons, and if it's neutral, that means that there's 54 protons. So now I scan your noble gases to get 54 protons, and that's actually right over here. Here's 54, and that's xenon. So I can start this out. I can say Xe, the Atomic number is going to be 54, because that's the number of protons. And now what's up here? Well, it's the mass number. It's the protons plus the neutrons. 
And they told us that the neutrons were 75. So I'll put this over here. Mass number for this guy would be the 54 protons plus the 75 neutrons. And whatever that is. So I'm just going to double check with, with my calcy. And I get 129. So that's going to be the number on the top here. 129. 54 plus 75. Box that answer off. That's the symbol with the atomic number and the mass number all nicely put together. All right. C. The isotope with 33 protons and 40 neutrons in its nucleus. So go by the atomic number because the atomic number will never change per element. The atomic number is the number of protons. So right here is the atomic number, 33 protons. I'm going to scan that element. Looks like 33 is over here. So that's arsenic. So I already know what the element is, AS. And the atomic number goes on the bottom. So 33 on the bottom. And now they're telling you that you have 33 protons and 40 neutrons. So your mass number that we need to put on the top is the 33 protons plus the 40 neutrons. And this one I can do in my head. <laughs> this one is 73. So box that answer off. There you go. That takes care of that one. That one was an easy one. And then last but not least, we have the alkaline earth metal with 88 electrons and 138 neutrons. All right, so where are your alkaline earth metals? Alkaline earth metals are not the same as alkali metals. They're two totally different groups. The alkaline earth metals are right next door. So that's from beryllium all the way down to radium. Okay, Oop, that was a little bit... You guys get the point, though. So this is your alkaline earth metals. All right, so they told us the neutrons, but they didn't tell us the electrons. However, oh, sorry, they didn't tell us the protons, but they did give us the electrons, right? 88 electrons. Now, they didn't say that it was neutral, but usually they should be super, super, super close, if not exact, to the number of electrons. Because technically, the number of electrons should equal the number of protons. So I'm going to scan for 88, and here it is. 88's all the way down at the bottom. This is radium. So I'm going to put D, actually, let me just erase this. I'll put D on the other side. So this would be RA as the symbol. That's radium. And the atomic number never changes. So 88 on the bottom, because that's the number of protons. And now your mass number would be 88 protons plus 138. Oh, that's an ugly eight. 138 neutrons. And that's it. That would be your mass number. So 88 plus 138, you get 226. And that's the number that goes on the top, 226. Box that answer off. That's the symbol for what they were saying in D. And yeah, those are your four answers, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like the video if it helped you. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, you'll get all the answers directly in your feed so that you can help, you know, Help yourself to all the answers that we give you guys so that you guys can study and ace your exams, your quizzes, your homeworks, whatever you guys got to do, all right? So thanks so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys at number 94. Have an awesome day.